Yeehaw, Walker, Texas Ranger boy. Good morning, America. Go USA. Another week, another Doom Roundup. My name is Reagan, the Doom Wizard. And if you didn't know already, it appears the war is escalating. Just like World War II did, it was over there, out of sight, out of mind. But it's coming home to roost. Biden is pressured to do something after Iran decided to drone strike a few American soldiers in a base in north of Jordan, if I recall. So look forward to that. As my generation knows, we've been nothing but accustomed to ongoing wars, bank bailouts, economy crashes, and just general polarization all throughout. It has not been a pleasurable time. Not like the older folks had it. When things were good, we thought things would turn around. Don't argue with me. We thought things were good in the 80s and 90s. So that happened. And in case you missed it, Sabine Hassenfelder just crossed the metaphorical bridge into being a doomer. I know she's been teetering for the past few months back and forth and very open about her opinions. I think this is notable because she is a very prominent figure on YouTube, science and math educator, exceptionally intelligent, you can tell. She's practically from a different planet. She's like the female Carl Sagan equivalent. I respect her. And she just comes out front and center in this video. If you haven't seen already, it's titled, I wasn't worried about climate change, but now I am. In this video, she uses the latest climate sensitivity models, not to mention James Hansen and colleagues' most recent peer-reviewed paper, which we all read and you know, knock the wind out of you. Amazing how so few couple thousand people, you know, have seen that out of, it should be mainstream now, you know, even though USA Today says uh, Americans are warming up to climate change, but Republicans are, uh, you know, just not so sure about it. Maybe it is, it's happening, I guess now. So in this video, she starts off detailing the climate sensitivity models, you know, providing the data and then she just goes full on into collapse and spends the next 15 minutes basically underlining what she anticipates to happen, which my subscribers and me had seen coming for the past few years. You know, I had my blatant open, publicly open wake up in 2020 where I saw exactly what she's describing in this video. Half the world's population scrambling, suffering, hellscape world nightmare hellscape okay half the global population in the south moving north nowhere to go nowhere to stay no way to grow food even if crops do fail and the the conditions will be so intolerable in many other areas and overcrowded and you can watch back with this video on this you know temperatures too hot to grow for farmers to grow food because we don't think about that who's going to harvest all this calories you know to store distribute and grain you get what i'm saying it's collapse she just is a doomer and it gives me that warm and fuzzy feeling you know that someone so intelligent is just has the courage to come forward and she admits that her climate change videos aren't popular same with look at my channel i can i can't even get 500 views like are you fucking kidding me and i have to beg you guys to hit thumb up you know, most of the videos. I'm saying the exact same thing that she does but because I don't have the notoriety and it's not algorithmically generated for my content. It's sad and, and hysterical, you know. I'm a journalist. This is what I do in a report. I'm, I have an oath to tell the truth that we're fucked, okay? We aren't at the end of the video, again, I, I advise you immediately go watch this. If you want to stop this video now, go watch it. I'm not offended. She gives her plan for what we should do. Put a price on carbon, start building renewables, nuclear, and so forth. You know, as if we have time remaining. And then vacuum it out of the sky. Okay, yeah, let's go build a million of those. You can't even get people to go outside and put their trash bins out. I mean, it take it's gonna take a World War III type effort. effort. Like we don't, no way, Netflix keeps coming out with a new series. It's just like late stage Rome. Keep them 
distracted with entertainment while the empire crumbles, we enter more wars. Why does my audience see this? Why does Sabine take this long for someone so intelligent and educated, educated, right? All that education, you know, the trillions of dollars we spent in the Iraq war, which we could have sent bright young people like me and my generation to college to start fixing some of these problems. But no, we spent trillions on a pointless war. And we didn't vote for this. You have no opinion, no effect on what happens at higher levels of government. Okay, calm down. It's fucked. We're fucked. The planet is going to enter a hellscape, and she admits so in the next two decades. Okay? You guys know this. I'm still reporting it. So, historically, I've always published what's happening in the world on Mondays. I'm not doing that. Instead, I'm going to go through the polls and involve my community, which I appreciate. Fellas, consider donating to support this channel and hit like and subscribe. You're ready for it. 50-50. Less than 50 say not so much. You have hobbies. A third of you don't do anything. Do something, right? What fascinates you? What interested you as a child? Go back to that. Ukraine will lose the war. A third of you think that they'll triumph when they're running out of muni munitions and Russia already has a plan to infiltrate the Baltic states, Latvia, I don't know them all. No one knows the full plan, but then NATO's going to call up 200,000, you know, conscription in UK. It's looking bleak. You need a hug. 28% of you don't need a hug. Well, fine. Just go sit in a closet by yourself. The major powers of the world are moving towards peaceful relations with each other. Most people disagree with that statement, and I think that should be obvious. Global warming already is or will be accelerating. Most people agree. And even Sabine does as well. In her video, she says, I anticipate temperatures to rapidly go up in the next few years and continuously. So, furthermore, drawing on Beckwith's video about phase changes of run or runaway Venus effect on Earth, if we get to, it doesn't take much, a few centigrade warmer globally than we are now, we start entering rapid acceleration changes that could just spiral us. I mean, you know, Sam Carana fans, you know this already. 20, 30, 100 degrees Celsius. Just complete hellscape. Doomsday clock will move closer to midnight in this year's update. Most of you said yes, and it was a disappointment. It wasn't. Why did, why? It should have moved up at least 10 seconds with all the chaos over the past two years. I agree, Abyss, man. Seriously? Okay, I mean, look at this chart. Earth, over 1.54, you know, Berkeley average, seven months over 1.5. If that was a stock, I could save that line over and over. If it was anything, I could bet on that. That's going, the trajectory is up, okay? I vote 50 seconds, 10 seconds to midnight. You survived the collapse of civilization. Now you have a main job in the community. It's a toss-up between a third of you wanting to be productive members of society, of collapse society and another third of you just want to check out no i'd rather die i mean it's a good thing that you're still existing at least right well apparently about 50 percent of you say no a little over 50 percent of you don't have a purpose remember the point of life is to live the meaning is whatever you make it so just generate something Okay, make it fun, at least. We're gone in less than 10 years. Even so, 50-50. I appreciate your company. Thanks for being with me. It's a new week on planet Earth. Welcome to the end times. My name is Reagan, your host. This is everything in one video I can imagine. Hit like and subscribe, and I'll catch you again soon. Have a good week, folks. See ya.